Hi, Goddess of Awesome here. And yeah, that was interesting just now, talking to you about my brother. I'm glad I kind of wrapped it up so far. But knock on the door. It can't be but 9.15. I didn't look at the clock just now. Church people. <laughs> I don't know what religion they were. I don't think Mormon, because Mormons have the little thingy, you know. And they usually... I don't know. I don't know what that was just now. But I definitely need a do not solicit, no solicitation on my door. She just recommended me get a filming in progress. Yeah, I probably should have that at my door. You know, I'm a very private person. You know, I'm a loving person. I'm a, a, a great friend. I'm a wonderful daughter. I'm a wonderful sister. I'm a wonderful cousin. I love to spoil the people I love, you know? I'm a wonderful niece, you know? But I'm also a very private person. I do not take kindly to unexpected visitors. I don't care who the hell you are. Please text me and let me know you're in the area and you're thinking of stopping by. Probably the only persons I would accept an unexpected knock on the door would be my young cousins. And guess what? They have a house key. So they wouldn't be knocking on my door. Anybody I truly love and trust has a house key. And that that's for a few reasons, you know? Usually maybe they I need them to watch my house, but also I want them to know my home is their home. Interesting. You know, the whole idea of soliciting religion, I don't know how much I agree with that. And I just told them I'm spiritually sound. <laughs> I was like, thanks for checking in on me. I assure you I am spiritually sound and I blessed them, you know, gave them my love and my light, you know. I, it was, and I didn't open the door. I have a little windowy thing that I can and open the door like that, like a small little peek hole. That's what I did. You know, if I'm not expecting a visitor, I'm not going to open the door. How the, who the hell do, how do I know what's on the other side of that door? I'm a single female. I live in a house, you know. I'm very tempted to get a second big dog. And I'm not trying to be a dog crazy person. I'm not trying to be an animal hoarder. You know, my mom has done stuff like that. So I'm very sensitive and aware of enough is enough you know when's too much like right now I have four mares and a stallion my plate is pretty full when it comes to giving my love to horses you know I do hold space that I could have as my branch expands maybe another horse or few but there is because I want a driving team Right? I would love a driving team, maybe a four, six, even an eight. I, actually, my grandest dream is to have a, a team of eight, each pair a different color of Tobiano. Right? I think that'd be gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But when that day happens, I'll be having a lot of space. Also, when that day happens, that's when I'll be giving, you know, foster children carriage rides for free. Also, my neighbors. I wouldn't mind getting loading up my neighbors and buggies and trail, you know, trucking around the neighborhood and letting them hear the clippity clop, clippity clop, because that's very therapeutic, that sound. You know, I strongly believe you don't really need a talking doctor if you have a horse. They are wonderful listeners. There's something extremely healing about them. You can tell them anything. Even if you don't spill your guts to them and, you know, spill your beans and you confide into them, just being near them is alleviating. It alleviates discomfort and pain on the emotional, mental levels, you know. So soliciting religion, especially in the morning right now. What are we? We're Wednesday. Yeah. I don't appreciate unexpected visitors. I don't appreciate my creative flow being disturbed. You know, I'm working on major projects here. Part of it is making videos for you. Part of it is writing. You know, I don't take phone calls when I'm in my writing process. I don't want knocks on the door when I'm, you know, typing away and I'm channeling my thought, you know. Sometimes it comes so fast I can't even type that fast. 
Sometimes the information is, I need to start using dictation. That's what I need to start doing. And I just learned that. I just learned how to do that in my computer class at the Apple Store. See, I also have been having to take Apple classes at the Apple Store to learn the, abil the abilities of my computer. I don't know all of them, you know? So far, I've only been using what I, what's relevant to me, you know, posting ads and just doing basic email. It's not like I need to know everything about my computer, but now doing editing and making videos for you and doing so much stuff. It's like, my God, you know, I need to know everything about this machine. Like I also learned about the iCloud and that I can send super large files with an iCloud. That's freaking amazing. That just solved major, major issues for me, you know? So I am busy, you know? And when I'm not working, doing my thing, I have things to do too. I have a ranch, basically. I do have a hired hand, but he only does so much, you know? There's a lot of things that I could do and that I need to do, you know? So just got disturbed just now. Knock on my door. I'm gonna need, I need some do not disturb signs. Boy, I'm gonna, <sighs> do not disturb. Maybe I'll get one of those post signs, you know, a post that says, Camelot this way, Land of Oz that way. I'm just making this up. Instead of having it be cool things, it will say, do not disturb, no solicitation, filming in progress, quiet please, knock at your own risk. <laughs> Any carpenters out there want to tackle that for me? I'd love that. That's what I need. Check in with me. and Maybe there's a few more things I need to put on that post. <laughs> yeah, I need something like that in front of my door. You know, I have one big Doberman pincher and I'm tempted to get a second one for the team aspect. Like maybe I need a team of big dogs. People are scared of that breed. That's half my infatuation with them, but I know that they're extremely tender. They're they're wonderful listeners and they actually they are known for impulse control. And probably not a lot of people know that about a Doberman pincher, but you can absolutely encourage and train these dogs to control their impulses and they will. They're a dog who is used in the military. Military dog. Military doesn't have time to waste. So these dogs are excellent students. They get it the first time. When I went to dog training school with my little dog, Lance, you've seen some videos I've made for you, my little dachshund. We did dog school for twice a week for a year. And the instructor had a Doberman Pinscher. She says she finished him in three months. That's basic, basic training. That's your obedience, right? She did all of the obedience. She did um, agility and she did search and rescue. She trained that dog for obedience, agility courses, and search and rescue. Everything that dog mastered it all in three months. They're wonderful students. They get it the first time. I have a basset hound who I have to tell her things again and again and again. She's finally coming around. Finally. She's almost two here. In May she'll be two. She's thick in the head. She knows what I want, just she's got a lot of opinions. And just, it's whether she wants to or not. The Doberman, her opinion is my opinion. She cares what I care. If I think it needs to be this way, that's what she wants it to be. You know, if I, whatever I desire, she's asking me how high to jump, you know. <laughs> she's winning me over left and right. I honestly believe it's the most perfect breed ever ever. I'm sold. My mom had some before and, and I did connect with a couple of them, but they weren't my dogs, you know, and I had my little baby dog. So not like I gave her dogs tons and tons and tons of attention, though I did work with a couple of her dogs, you know, and, and then I did have some good bond, but they, I don't remember them being like my mine is just beyond amazing, beyond amazing, you know. So this morning, Miss Zena, Zena, my warrior princess, so appropriately named, where she was begging left and right to go on a horse ride. No horse ride today for this morning. Maybe tonight if I'm lucky. If she's lucky, I'll try to get her out tonight. You know, when I saw my brother just now, kind of ate up my 
small window I may have had for a horse ride. So I just have too much computer stuff to do. I have videos I have to make for you. This will probably be the last one for the morning. Then I'll come back and maybe touch on some more serious topics. But, um, yeah, considering a second Dobie, what I would really like is Velocisaurus Raptors. That's what I really wanted. Not like that's possible, right? Next best thing I think could consider would have been a Doberman Pinscher. They're visually terrifying, which is good. I didn't do their ears, you know. I'm a gentle soul. But um, I also needed something that was extremely tender and a good listener. And she has surpassed, boy, Zena surpassed any of my expectations and continues to. Continues, left and right. Now, she wasn't allowed in the bed initially, you know, that's my little dog's bed. My big bed is my little dog's bed. Now, it took me a while to actually let my little dog in the bed because I thought, well, God, one day if I ever have a man in my life, he may not want the dog in the bed, you know? My baby dog has been around for 11 years and I've only had maybe a couple, maybe three relationships that would have maybe made it back to my bed. None of them last, so it doesn't really matter, does it? My baby dog owns my bed, you know? And that's fine. He can have it. Well, Ms. Zena has been moving in on the bed. So funny. Sometimes she goes into the other room and she'll sleep in her own bed. When I'm in the living room doing stuff, she'll go get the quiet of the bedroom. And now sometimes she crawls up on the bed. So I get it. She, she loved me a long time. She wants to be close to her mama, you know? She loved my scent, you know? It probably puts her to ease and to crawl into bed. Like this morning I got it for my workout, hopped in the shower, <laughs> doing my thing. My blankets are all open and I get out of the shower to tell myself off and I see Ms. Zena sleeping in my bed up on my pillows, you know. I've come a long way. Things like that probably used to piss, would have maybe made me angry. Now I just smile. Right. It's endearing. So Ms. Zena has won me over on so many levels. I'm forever sold on the breed of the Doberman Pinscher. Probably be synonymous with that breed at some point. I want my baby dog to live forever and ever and ever and ever. But when the day comes that he's called back, you know, which will be so hard. I don't even want to think about that. I'll be a Doby girl forever because they're incredible perfect students and don't have to repeat myself with a Doberman Pinscher. So yeah, considering a second one. I'm not trying to be crazy animal person, but seems like a team might be good. Anyway, so that's all I have to say. Just wanted to follow up on my, my unexpected knock. You know, I get wanting to save people. I get it, but soliciting religion door to door, that's got to be a tough job. And I, I don't necessarily, I don't agree with it. I don't think you should be pushing religion on people. I don't think you should be pushing anything on people. It needs to be, you need to be called to it, or it could be an invitation, but when you push people, Forcing anybody into anything isn't good luck with that. I don't think it, that kind of stuff works, and I don't think whatever you're trying to push on them is going to stick. You know what I mean? It, it, it will stick if they want it to. That's why it need, they need to be called to it, or it needs to be an invitation, an open invitation to be accepted at any time, not to be forced or pushed. So that's all I have for you today for this morning. I'm the Goddess of Awesome. If you found this video interesting at all or any of my videos that you watch, please give them a thumbs up. If you'd like to know more, please subscribe. And in the meantime, bright blessings and be well.